Sometimes we make videos that as we're filming it, it kind of doesn't even feel real and I think that's what this video really is. Everything kind of came together super last minute and I really wanted it to be a surprise for you guys. We've been kind of been keeping it quiet for the past few weeks but all of this came together super quickly and I am so excited to make this video. But before we get started, I just want to say a huge thank you to Magnaflow. They've been a supporter for us for the last few years and this year they've done nothing less than really support us with our racing and what we're trying to accomplish this year. So without them, this video would not be possible. I think over the last few years, you guys have really seen a steady progression in driving more and more and more as I've really just enjoyed it and have started to finally get better at it. And with the 2023 race season about to begin, with the competitions we're gonna drive in and all of the cross country events we're gonna be driving in, Magnaflow has given us their old retired NASCAR trailer to use for the 2023 race season. Today, I'm gonna give you guys a full tour of what this whole thing looks like because it is quite the sight to see. It is so amazing and beautiful. We're gonna be unboxing all of our tools and equipment throughout the year that we're gonna be storing and it's gonna be living in this trailer because this is gonna be traveling all around the country and it needs a full set of dedicated everything just to live in this full time. And I'm gonna be showing the boys this trailer because they really haven't seen it yet and I'm really excited to get their reaction because this thing is just absolutely ridiculous. I don't feel authorized to press this button, but I'm pressing it. Break an iron iron. Activate lift gate. I feel like I shouldn't be doing this, but like I can because it's ours. Like who's gonna yell at us, you know? Rich, I'm allowed to be doing this, right? Yeah, just uh, going up and down, you'll be fine. I will have to show you when you can and can't, so. Okay. <laughs> that was kind of like when you're at, like asking your dad for permission and he's like, mm, you really shouldn't be doing that, but you're already doing it, so I'll help, but don't ever do it again. <laughs> so the man who made this all possible is Richard. Richard has been a really big supporter for us for a really long time, so th this whole video, I'm so excited but can you tell us uh exactly what this is like the year of the truck it's a feather light trailer yep. i don't know i don't know these things so, so can you give us a little walkthrough of what this thing is this thing's taken us through almost 15 years of use it's an early 2000s feather light as you can see it is basically the same chassis that you would use for a nascar team but we had it outfitted for us so it's got instead of the double decker to put cars on top and have the entire workstation down here we primarily delivered this thing with uh are used to deliver like full-size trucks diesels lifted for all the shows that we do and we needed it to be mostly about carrying the vehicle and a longer vehicle and then all of our show equipment on front and then obviously the office that we had for mm -hmm. when we're there and sales transactions to kind of support that but its roots are motorsports and motorsports requires carry car carry tools and a place for basically the team to do teamwork stuff. So uh, kind of just about fit what you were doing with like five vehicles, you know, yeah. a trailer, a tow vehicle, yeah. support cars, people flying in. It's been kind of out of utility in our motorsports program. We haven't necessarily needed that. So having that is something I think would be a, a benefit to you guys. And since it was sitting, I said, let's help DJ. So cool. It's kind of ridiculous. What's the truck that's towing the Featherlight? Do you know what that is? We have a Freightliner. Uh, we have a fleet. We have the same vehicle that we use for all of our other ones. You might've seen our other black truck actually. Actually, I think it's just right over here yeah. right now. We use that for all of our other events and it's the same hauler that we use for both. So it is a sleeper based unit so that we can go cross country and our drivers are comfortable while they're delivering to all the events we go to, but it's the exact same unit. We actually have the same black truck that tows both of them cross country. Yeah. Do you need a license to drive that thing, right? Yes, it is a unique license it that can't you have to be that hard though, right? Uh, you know, it, it's not so much, I think, how hard it is. I mean, you're a car control driver. You can probably understand yeah. the dynamics. It's probably more or less the going slow enough and watching people cut you off and understanding the dynamics of carrying, you know, 14 to 20,000 pounds behind you and getting the proper braking distance and that. It's more experience and I would say really is, do you know how to drive it? So yeah, I won't be driving it, but I, I tried, okay? I tried. It's time for the tour, everyone. Let's give you a full walkthrough. So this is a 53 foot trailer. It's the largest trailer I think it can be. We have an awesome lift gate, which is so amazing. We can just like chuck a car on here. You don't need to get little race ramps and do all that type of stuff. I don't know trailers. Do you want to try and do this? Uh, I don't know much, but I maybe know a little bit more. What do you mean you got a freaking NASCAR on your hat? Well, God damn. Imagine the car on these ramps right here. You can fit it's elevated cars. so you can still fit things. I don't, think you, I don't think you can fit two cars. You can't fit your car. So you can maybe fit like a razor and a car. Car sits on top here. And we have all of this amazing space. So a lot of this space is gonna be filled up with our tools. It's gonna be filled up with all like our Hunt & Co. like clothing that we'll bring to all the events for all of the special events that we'll be running. 
Um, there's also above us, these are all the awning arms. On the outside of the trailer when we set up our pit location, which is one of the biggest things I'm excited about, is when we have our enclosed trailer, which is like the 28 foot, we usually bring like two easy up tents and we set it up on the side and put the car underneath it, but this has a 25 by 55 awning setup. So our pit location and our, our just the amount of sheer amount of space we take up is so obnoxious and it's it's an FD style setup for our car and it's just gonna provide so much extra space and room. It's gonna be amazing. We're definitely spoiled. We only spent like two years on our enclosed trailer, which we're obviously still gonna keep for when we do like practice days and stuff. We'll take the smaller trailer, but for all of our big events, uh, this is what we're gonna take. It's definitely overkill for some of the competitions we're going to, but it's amazing. So we're taking it. This is my favorite spot. When we're at events and we're at good lives and stuff like that, there's usually no place to escape to go to an AC spot. And now we have an office lounge integrated into the whole entire setup. In between qualifying or in between rounds or in between just when you wanna come and sit, I don't know. You can sit here, you can have some lunch, you can watch a movie, we have a TV. We're living the good life, baby. This is so sweet. Oh, we have a TV yeah, and a fridge. A fridge Whoa. You know what's gonna be put in that microwave? Factor meals, baby. You're damn right, baby. And, <laughs> and some NOS energy drinks in the fridge. This is where I'm gonna be whipping up mobile bangers. Or shall I say, <gasps> <laughs> it's pretty cool. Uh, it's definitely a lot to take in and I'm like so very overwhelmed, but it's really cool. And to be able to have this is definitely a luxury that once we have, I'm never not gonna wanna have it. So no race trailer would be complete without a set of tools to live in it throughout the year. Obviously, we're not gonna be loading this with our own tools every round because this thing's gonna be traveling throughout the country nonstop. And with that, we need a set of everything to live in this trailer. So that's everything from any type of tool you could ever think of to taking apart a car and putting it back together. So of course, we reached out to Tang, who's been supplying us with tools and has been our tool partner for about three to four years now. They sent out their newest tool cabinets. We have two of them and we handpicked out all the tools that we wanted. So today we're gonna be unboxing all of this stuff and throwing it in the trailer, which is arguably just as exciting as showing you guys this trailer. I love Tang Tools. They've been a huge supporter and their tools are honestly just great. So I'm gonna link them down below if you want a basic starter set or you're trying to go for a full on cabinet, you can get everything from Tool 66. It's linked down below. This would not be possible without them. So let's go ahead and start unboxing all of these tools. It looks like Dylan's ready to get after. Oh, that's tight. Now they that's do. tight. Oh, they custom made it for TJ. Yeah, they made it just for us. Don't, don't, don't. Did you bring any, any tools? Um, I don't know, did you? Yes. Did I go get it? This year, Dylan's gonna be our crew chief for 2023, <laughs> Hunt and Co. Racing. Dylan's gonna take us to the championship. Dylan and I went through and special ordered every single individual thing. Look at this cute little dead blow we got. Hold it up. What's that? It um, needs to be, yeah. yeah. Handles on the wrong side. You fucking no, idiot! I, you idiot! I'm thinking about when it's in there. Might look all business, be... but not today. No, Sorry. Okay. Here's, what, here's what I think about your business, Calvin. That's the thing about, that's the thing about that. Bing, baby. I'm just Great. thinking about how it's gonna be in there. Yeah, and it's gonna be in there with a handle on this side. My favorite moment is when Calvin wants to hate me and then he can't. I what? can't, I love him. I'm on a divorce, Teej. I'm marrying Dylan now. <laughs> oh, I got you. You take that back. I got your mans. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's a trade. Hey, what did we get that for? It's for something. I don't remember. I think it's for the vice. Oh, was it for the vice? Yep. This whole tool setup's gonna be nicer than what we have in our shop. Pay attention. What? It's gonna go on the right side of the trailer against yeah, the wall. Yeah, but look at how cool this looks. Oh, we have a vice in a trailer. Oh, yeah. Hold on your chest, Calvin. Hold on your chest. Put on your chest. I got your back. Scared oh god, do it! Just do it! Ah! 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 He loves it. Ah! 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 I'm gonna die! Oh no! Oh man! Look at this knuckle. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. These hands are weapons, baby. That's how I end my career. Dylan, look at all these individual things we got. Oh yeah. Oh yes. Oh yeah. Oh, let me, let me, let me see, let oh, me see. Measure, measure my arm real fast. Oh, yeah. Measure my arm oh, real fast. Cow. It's all about the angle. Cow, 14 hold inches. On, hold on, hold on, wait. <laughs> Ooh. That's what you select to show the camera of all this is the razor blade. <gasps> oh. When what kind we of first started working with Tang, they didn't have a lot of the stuff that they have now. Tool awesome. 66, link down below. It's gonna be so nice, so nice, I'm so excited. Am I helping? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's some good roller bearings. All right, let's fill her up. Okay. 
careful, bitch. Did you catch that? Yep. No, he didn't. Oh, I don't think. Oh my god, okay. What are you doing? All right. Oh, it's so good. Wow. The foam tray is. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, the foam look, tray is so good. Look, look at the universal fit in their drawers and look. Remember when we first got it? It was like the plastic bits and now they do their CNC foam tray. Oh, it's you know so happens? good. Look what happens when you go down the road, watch. And then check this out. It's still the wow. same! Wow. It's give me a cut. I'll give you a Just good cut. Give me a good cut. Pull, pull the cardboard. Yeah. Yep. Okay, that's going in now. Don't move. No, we don't got move. it. Yeah. Idiot. I tried to do the, I tried to do the tablecloth pull, and it went everywhere. It had to happen. I'm glad it was. Someone me. had to do I, it. I had to do it. Oh my god. Tilt this way, TJ, and then Twan grab that. Just move, remove it's it. Remove it. Stop. Yep, got it. How sick. Is that the black cabinets? Oh, that's so cool. This is getting a little legit for us. It's a little too real. It's a little too real. I can't believe this is like real life. I don't know. Hard to put into words based on like where we were, where we are now. Oh my god, that's so easy. <laughs> wow. That's wow. That. There's so many tools, it can't even fit on one side. Like we're laying them all out on one of like the side of the, the car tracks. I saw boxes I haven't opened yet. Ooh. Dude, I need a tool stat. No, wait, I need this one. Wait, I should probably go over here to, and then. All right, so now we have up. this tedious job of figuring out how we're gonna organize it. There are so many things. If you want, we found a set of the ratcheting ones. Where? Uh, what would you like for dinner, sir? Hmm, uh, I think I'll take a flathead. Oh, yes. <laughs> Excellent choice. <laughs> so how we're treating these two different toolboxes is this is obviously our largest bench. The heaviest bench and has a really nice hard top here. This is primarily gonna live on the side of the trailer. We're gonna have them strapped down so they don't really roll around. Ideally, this will never leave where it's sitting. The small cart is treated more as the service cart that we're gonna be treating outside of the trailer. So when we're in our pit set up and we have the, the car outside, we'll probably always roll this outside so it's a sitting tool chest with the car. That way we're not traveling in and outside of the trailer to get to the car when we need to work on things. So we're trying to organize this with the things we think we'll use the most. So we're starting off with like your three eighths and quarter inch tools followed by your half inch tools and then I think what goes into pliers or don't no, wrenches and then pliers so this is the most typical things we'll be grabbing in situations of war like let's say we're, we're gonna be moving like an like an accent lot or something all those super heavyweight tools we're gonna keep at what we would call the anchor toolbox and if we ever need to roll this outside if we're doing like a really big job we can always move it out but this is a dream I'm like can't believe this is actually happening like I take a step back over here go in our heated office and I take a look and I can just imagine when we're gonna have our Supra loaded in there and we're gonna have our full team, our awning. Like, I cannot believe this is real. I don't feel like we necessarily deserve it. We fucked up. What? We fucked up. We need to use these because they have the super nice interlock and we're taking all the gray trays out. It's my fault too. This is tight. This is tight. I wanna use these. Calvin, Calvin, Chuck. thanks Calvin. Nice. Dude, hell yeah. <laughs> Dude. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, a basket! <laughs> nice, dude, sick. Tang literally makes everything. Oh. You have a rivet gun, you have a rivet, and you have a rivet. Okay, so do you remember when I- Not no, so I said, hey, is that a rivet gun and a riv nut gun? And then you corrected me by taking longer to get it wrong? Hey, also, is this yours? 
this. What the fuck? He's gonna put the crimp tools I'm with good. the multimeter because I'm the crimp guy. Electricity. I'm crimp walking. So measure your thread. Look at all that. Look at all those threads. I don't know. Hammers. Okay, so we still have Oh, that is so satisfying. I'm hoping I doubt it, but I'm hoping I doubt it, but I'm hoping I doubt it, but I'm hoping I doubt it. Look at this, baby. Beautiful. So sick. We have our workstation, portable. Take this out by the car. We organize everything to what we thought would be the best. You think I can fit in there? You think it'll support my weight? Probably. I don't think it's I don't think it'll fit. No shot. We but set up the toolboxes for usability and ergonomics. Don't fucking smile at me like that. What are you gonna do? What? What? Why are you winking at me? Let's He's go winking. Go ahead and show him inside. Yeah, come on, Dylan. Try it. Yeah, Dylan, Dylan, try it. Come on, Dylan. What's wrong with you today? What's wrong with me today? What's wrong with me today? Because <laughs> you locked the box. Now he looks like a dummy. I like to think of uh, what we're going to use the most and how fast we need it. And I tend to use sockets, ratchets, wrenches. I said wrenches. <laughs> wrenches. Check out, these, check out these wrenches. So we spent all day. It's it's only been out. four hours. It's been four hours. It took us four hours to do this, which is a long time. I want to give a big thank you to Tank Tools. You guys can get all your tank stuff at Tool66. It's linked down below. That's today's video. A little break from the Supra stuff because we're waiting on parts. We're going to be going to our first event next weekend, Hot Pits, round one at Urbandale Speedway. We're going to be taking the 370Z out. Hopefully, we'll have the Supra ready for the rest of the year. We're just going to be missing that one event. And then we have Grid Life at the end of March that the Supra will hopefully make its debut at, as long as we get our testing done in time for that. I think having the 370 and this trailer at Hot Pit for the first time will be great because we'll figure out what we're missing or what we have excess of. What a what we box car for a beautiful trailer we're gonna, setup. We're gonna roll up with this comprehensive- It's kinda goofy. Comprehensive, beautiful toolkit, two boxes, and an NASCAR trailer. We're gonna show up in, in a professional looking setup with a couple of goons just hopping out of the trailer and with a, a stock 370Z with nitrous. And a Looney Tunes car. Yes. A yeah, Fred sure. Flintstone pedal car. Are you guys ready be, to compete? There's gonna be other FD drivers at this next Hot Pits. And we're gonna be rolling out with nitrous and VQ in a dream. Beat them last time, do it again. Pissed off trumpet is what you're driving. The, the song of our people. Your the VQ. People. Your people. My, oh, our people. What, what, you, is, what, what is, is that? What's you people. You the do. VQ. Those are my people. Hey. Not proud of it. Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> the truth! Hey. Hey, shout out uh, to my boy no, Sean no, and Link's no, word. No, no, no. I, didn't no I, didn't, I didn't mean it like that. I've had three of them. I can say whatever I want about it. It's not the best sounding car, okay? It's not, but it works really great. And that's what matters. And what happens when you work hard and you're consistent for years on end, like the Z33 chassis has been, you get really important people to make really silly decisions and give you a race trailer for a whole year. And with that, we love you, MagnaFlow. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out and keep moving forward.